Hello everyone, we will continue the change request two as a part of sales order report. And in the previous video, we finished with the logic part in this function module and in the class method. Now we will understand each and everything in the debugging mode. We will cross verify everything that it is working fine or not. So what I will do, I'll put a breakpoint onto this logic which we have written and we will understand in the debugging mode. I will run. I will give that date. I will go to execute. Now we are inside the function module. Based upon the input, yes, this is our internal table, which has the four records for sales order number 77, two records for sales order number 78, two records. Now, it means LT output is not initial. If condition true, now I am inside the if condition. Now we are fetching data from our invalidate table based upon LT output. And what is the input to fetch data from invalidate table? This internal table VBELN will go to VBELN of invalidate table. This internal table postnar will go to postnar of this invalidate table. We all know input always pass from right to left. If I will double click on LT invalidate, I am doing F6. Have you seen? We got two records in the internal table. 77, 10, 78, 20. I will go to desktop. Now, in this internal table, we have four records. In this internal table, we have two records. So this loop will continue four times. Now I am doing F6. So first record from the internal table is in the work area. Just see what is in the work area. 77, 10. Just see this is the first record. Sorry, I will go for this. 77, 10. So this record moved to work area. Now we are going for index index. Now what is this LV underscore index underscore T? It is one. It is for this internal table, this internal table. This first record is currently going on. Psi tab X is one. Now, now we are reading this internal table and what is the where condition? First work area VBELN and first work area postnar. What is first work area VBELN? 77, 10. It will check into this internal table. Where is 77, 10? Do we have 77, 10? Yes, we have 77, 10. And have you seen psi sub rc equal to zero, psi sub rc equal to zero. And this psi tab x one is for the inner internal table now because we got the matching record on first index itself. Now we are deleting this record from this internal table and it will delete the record on which index one index. Have you seen? We have written index this variable and what is the variable value one. Now you can see in this internal table, we have three records now. And this is what we want. Matching records should not display S. Yes. Now we will go for second iteration. It will give you more clarity. Now this is second record, second record. Now you can see in this internal table, we have three records left now. But now people will ask why, why side tabix is one. 
because the record which was on index one previously, we deleted that record. So now this record is on index one. We are reading this record now. 77, 20. 77, set 10 deleted. That's why SAP considered this on index one itself. Now, now we are reading this internal table. LT underscore invalidate based upon what? Based upon first work area VBELN and postnar. It will check into this internal table. Do we have 7720? We do not have 7720. So whenever we will execute this, have you seen what is the value of size sub RC? It is other than zero. So it is not a matching record. So it should not delete. It should be as it is. I am doing F6. Now loop will come for third record. Now, ideally it should be second, yes. Now you can see in this internal table, now it is on to this record. 78, 10. It is on which index now? Second index, second index. Now it will go for read now. Now, what is LV index T? It is 2. It will check into this internal table. Do we have 7810? We do not have 7810. And you can see, again, we have size sub RC other than 0. Yes. So, delete will not happen. Now, it will go to fourth iteration. Whenever it will go to, ideally, it is third iteration because first record deleted. Now, you can see side tabix is 3. Now, what is VBELN 78? What is POSNA 20? It will check into this internal table. Do we have 7820? Yes, we have 7820. Now it will give you more clarity. For the outer loop, index is 3. And whenever our read table will execute, the side tabix will become 2. And that is for the inner loop, inner read table. I will do F6. And have you seen side tabix is 2. But we are deleting the third record. We want to delete this third record. We are not going for any LT invalidate itself. Now size sub RC is 0. And it will delete the record which is on index 3. And you can see in LT output we remain with how many records? Only 2 records. And these are the these records are not invalidated. It means it should come in the output. Now, you can see from LT output, data returned to LT final. LT final is binded with ALV. And this is what customer expect now. Now, customer will say, okay, everything is working fine which is requested, yes. Now you can simply, simply see the functionality now. Okay. Now, whatever the line items are invalidated, they are not appearing in the report. Whatever the invalidate line items are there, yes. Are they stored into our custom table? Yes, they are stored into our custom table. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we understood each and everything in the debugging mode and always make a practice whenever you will go for coding or logic building, always check each and everything in the debugging, especially for the non-technical people or those who have a fear of coding. Debugging always, always help you to improve your coding skills or logic building skills. In the next video, we will release that transport request. We will check. Yes, everything is perfectly fine or not because ultimately unit testing is our responsibility. So that's it in this video. Thank you.